If you're giving a presentation, you must know your audience. Uh, this became very apparent to me, very clear to me back in 2006. I was attending the Australia-China conference in Beijing and it was a long week. It was four days, Tuesday till Friday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. And what did we learn about? We learned about uh, China investment. We learned about uh, business opportunities ranging from trade, from the legal standpoint, the employment uh, uh, environment. Um, and, and I was there giving a presentation on training and development. And it was a Friday, uh, about 3 p.m. At about 5 p.m. on the Friday, the event was finished. So 200 delegates from business, a private business and government from Australia and Chinese counterparts were uh, let off for the week. Four days finished, it was a very long week. And what did we do? Well, typically in Australia on a Friday, particularly if you're outside of your home country, you go to the bar. So for a couple of hours, uh, you'd go to a bar after work and, and mingle. And that's what we did. We were invited to the bar in the hotel and it was an open bar. And by open bar, that means free. And we all know that free beer tastes better than paid beer. So you drink a bit more than, than normal. Um, so for about an hour, we were there. We were networking, providing business cards, meeting each other, um, and, and loosening up after a long week of learning about China and, and sharing ideas. Um, at about uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock, there was an announcement, ladies and gentlemen, please join us for dinner in the dining room. So it was a typical Chinese banquet. There was 10 people per table. There was about 20 tables, 200 people in all. There was a man sitting beside beside me. Uh, he was about 65 years old, uh, same age as my father at the time, and, um, and we got on very well. Uh, I remember his surname was Mayer, M-A-Y-E-R. And um, then there was an announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a presentation from an Australian government official. And a, and a fellow with a very strong Australian accent came on and he gave a presentation for about eight minutes. That was about it. We were still drinking, I should add, and there was no food on the table. So it was now about an hour and a half to two hours since we began our first sip of a, of a wine or, or beer. Thank you very much. We have one more presentation. We all thought to ourselves, this man is Mr. P. Chen Sheng. He's the leader of Tanggu. Tanggu is a region, uh, a, a, a business area, a, um, a kind of a high-tech industrial park near Tianjin, up in the north part of China. Um, Mr. Pi Chen-Sheng had a translator with him, a very friendly character, which was in quite contrast to him. He was a very stern-looking, very serious-appearing gentleman. The man, Pi Chen-Sheng, he spoke not for five minutes, not for 10, not for 15, not for 20. He spoke for 45 minutes. And what did he speak about? He spoke about trade in China, opportunities of business, the legal aspects of China, and why we should do business in China. Now the man beside me, that 65 year old man, that's Australian, he was almost dead. I mean, he, his facial expression it was barely alive. And he, and he took out a chopstick, single chopstick, Quainza, and he gave it to me and he said, Mori, kill me. Stick this in my ear and kill me. This guy is so bad, I can't live anymore. And it was quite, it was quite serious through his smile, that's for sure. And so I, I realized um, at that point, 2006, that this guy, Pi Chen Sheng, he simply did not even think about his audience. At no point did he ask his, the organizer of the speech, you know, who's the audience? What their understanding level is? Um, what time of the day is it? And if he'd done that, he'd realize, well, these guys have been learning about China for four days. So you don't have to tell them again for 45 minutes. These guys had been drinking alcohol for at least an hour to two hours without any food in their stomachs. So they might be a little happy or a little, a little angry. <laughs> um, and these people, it was a long week, they were tired. And if he thought about that, if he thought about his audience, he would have changed everything. And instead of a 45 minute presentation, which one man wanted to die, he would have said something much shorter, much more concise, uh, in actual fact, he should probably have said nothing at all. So remember, when you give a presentation, know your audience.